Hey everybody, it's DJ Easy D with 2K and Jams. Today we're doing something a little different. I don't think I've done this before. We're going to do an unpackaging today. Everybody that's in the business knows that one of the options you have to offer when you're doing weddings or even proms or parties for that matter is uplighting because it just kind of sets the mood. Yeah, you've got dance floor lighting where you've got all the motion going everywhere, but a lot of times they want the subtle hint of just uh, color in the room, not necessarily moving to the beat of the music or anything like that, but just kind of like there and maybe even changing colors throughout the course of the night or whatever. Now, when we first started, we started with the wired and the ones that were controlled by conventional DMX. So that's kind of gone by the wayside now. We're kind of moving into the wireless and the battery operated lamps. So we've started buying all battery operated fixtures now. And today we received our latest shipment of the newest uplighting that we're going to be using. They are the Chave Freedom Par Hex 4s. Very subcompact units very powerful. They've got four 10 watt LEDs and these are not RGBs. These are RGB AW plus UVs. So these give you the entire spectrum and you're not relying on a series of LEDs to make the color. It's every single LED emits the same color. So we're unboxing those today and I'm going to drag those boxes out here right now. I don't know if you can see the boxes or not. But these are all from IDJ now. Uh, I've bought some things from them in the past and when I contacted them this time, they actually hooked me up with a pretty good deal. I'm not going to say how much, but I will say it's worth mentioning that you need to at least try them. Find out what they price, find out what the others price, and I'm pretty sure you're going to find out that not many people, if any, can beat their price. So look them up, idjnow.com. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and unbox this one, and this is a large box. So here's what you're looking at, the Chave Freedom Power Hex 4. I bought 18 more, 4 10 watt LEDs, multicolor in each one. And uh, in addition to these, I bought the carrying cases. So these are really cool fixtures. So let me open one of them up. Um, I'm pretty sure you've seen them if you've done anything with up lighting as far as um, doing a wedding or anything like that. These are kind of becoming almost an industry standard. But these are offered by Chave. They come in both black and white. I went ahead and got all black because really sometimes in a dark room you don't really want the unit to stand out. And yes, there are times when you have white rooms, but more often than not, um, these are situated well in the shadows. So, as you can see, let me show it to you up close a little bit. It's the Chave Freedom Par Hex 4, completely programmable, and it's also D Fly. So, it controls through either conventional DMX or through uh, other wireless means that uh, Chave provides. As you can see, here's the four LEDs, and those are 10 watts each. And as I understand it, on four colors or less, these things can run for 20 hours at a time. Um, once you start getting above four color changes, it's got a smart mode, and in that smart mode, it kind of, all I can figure is that it must throttle back the, the LED intensity to conserve battery power, but um, I don't think it hurts the performance whatsoever. And in the box, you know, you get your typical charge cable, and then it also is able to be controlled by an IRC remote, of which most of the Chave products can do so. So I've got 18 of those. And in addition to this, I went ahead and picked up the FlareCon. This is the Chave FlareCon. This is the unit that you can download an app for on your smartphone, on an iPad, Android, all of them are supported. And you can control all of these units through this FlareCon. So I went ahead and picked up one of those because this is supposed to be able to have a 600 foot line of sight range. So I can put these things all around any venue next to a football field and be able to control them. I think it would actually work in a football field. Who knows? But in addition to the FlareCon, I went ahead and splurged 
we've been kind of challenged with the way we handle um, toting these things around. So we bought black totes and everything, and while that's been great, I said, you know what, I need something a little more rugged. I need something that can store all the cables. And the good thing about the Chauvet Charge 9 road cases for these is that the outlet that you plug into the wall to charge them is on the outside of the box. And on the inside of the box is a charge strip and you plug in all your fixtures. Now you still have to leave the case open to do it, but it allows you to have a, com a really compact charging system versus taking them all out and setting them up and then charging them and then having to put them back in. You can leave them in the case just like you do when you set up a breakdown and just plug the cable straight into them because the fixtures go upside down in the case. So let me show you that right quick. Okay, this is box three or four. Here you go. This is the Chauvet Freedom Charge 9 road case. What I really like about this case, I mean, look at this thing. Look how well built it is. Solid partitions, uh, quarter inch foam on every wall, so it will really, really protect the lights. Now the lights go in upside down with the LEDs down. There's a foam block in the bottom of every hole, and that's so the bottoms can point up because that's where you plug them in to charge them. So with all the units laying down, you come off of the power strip, you plug each one of them in, and then they charge away. When you're done, you unplug the cables, you drop them into this little side slot, and then you're ready to go. The neat little feature about this case, and this is why I love it, right here on the side, this is an on-off switch and a port for you to just plug uh, a regular computer cable, light cable, whatever you want to call it, into that, and then it distributes the power through this power strip. Very nice, neat package. One power cord to go into the wall, the rest of them are basically self-contained within the unit. Hey, did I mention how much I love these things? Look at that. Pretty cool carrying handle for all of them. All right, so there you have it. This is the Chauvet DJ Charge 9 case with nine of the Chauvet DJ Freedom Par hex fours. Uh, as I understand it, this case fits more than just a hex four. It fits the quad four also, and I think there's one other uh, fixture that it'll fit, but anything that's, that's the same dimension, it'll work just fine. But as you can see, all the cables are nice and tucked away. Everything's sitting up and down just fine. And then when you're ready to charge them, you just have to go down in here. There's a little cavity. That's where the plugs plug in there, and they'll come over here, and each one has their own socket, and you plug this thing into the wall. So, that is number one. If there's one thing I'd like them to do, is to take the cords and make them the length to fit the case. Because right now, you've got these full length cords, and you know, as you can see, it's a little bit of a jumble mess. But that's minor. Um, I'm not going to gripe about it, because the other conveniences far outweigh it. So there you have it. All nine are plugged in, ready to be plugged into the charge port. We'll get this one charging, and then we'll pull out the second set. Ta-da! Let's go ahead and play with a couple of them, and let's see how these things work. Now these lights, they pretty much work the same way all other DMX fixtures work. They've got a menu on the back, you can see here. There's a menu, it goes menu, up, down, enter, and here are your battery indicators to show you what the strength of the battery is at the current time. Um, other than that, you can take the menu and actually enter into a D-Fly mode, and then that's when you can start using the app that you can download using the FlareCon. But for right now, we're just going to kind of bring these things up and see what kind of lights we can get out of them. Okay, we've got red, green, blue. Amber, or that's almost an orange. So there you have it. These are the new ones that we just bought. 
These are the Chave DJ Freedom Power Hex 4s with the Freedom Charge 9 travel cases. And we got two of them and we're ready to add them to the arsenal and go out into the world and light up some weddings, some proms, parties, and just about anything else. So hopefully we'll see you out there on the road sometime. Look us up. DJ Easy D with Toucan Jams. Later.